What's up guys, Vito Gamester here, and I'm bringing you something new. We are doing Storytime Sunday, or Sunday Storytime, whichever one I decide to put in the title. And uh, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be playing Gauntlet A through Z. So I'm going to go from the Bears all the way to the Vikings. I'm going to do this 32 times, with every, once with every team, um, on all Madden. Or no, I think this is all pro, actually. Uh, just so that I'm not constantly distracted by trying hard. And I'm going to be telling you a story, a funny or interesting story. Uh, in the meantime, so today we are going to learn the first time I ever tried to flirt with a girl. So, uh, sixth grade, I went to uh, this one middle school. Seventh grade, I was homeschooled. Eighth grade, I was in a new uh, new school. So I was completely new at this school, and uh, we had eight periods that uh, at that school. So that meant eight different classes, and uh, I think it was like my sixth and seventh class of the day either that or seventh and eighth I know I had two classes in the same classroom with the same teacher back to back that she was in same students and everything that's just the way they did it um, eighth grade so I didn't know her I remember her name uh, completely still I'm not gonna say it um, but yeah so that happened and then I never had the courage to talk to her because she was always one table away my teacher made the seating arrangements and we never sat at the same table. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, am I punt? I'm running a fake punt. I should have. I'm really dumb. Um, and so, yeah, because that would mean I have to get up from my table to go talk to her in the middle of the class. And that would never work. And the way the, where I hung out, I never, like, saw her during recess or whatever because it was middle school. It was recess. And uh, so, yeah, I never had the courage. But one day went to the oh that's what it was the museum of tolerance uh something like that it was our only field trip no it was our one of two field trips that we had that year and um so yeah on this on the bus ride back because like i i just stayed away from her the entire time i didn't want to like seem nervous i didn't want to get sweaty and then start smelling like a freaking sewage because it's eighth grade all those hormones and everything you smell like a sewage um what, am I picking up the first down? It's third and one, so I might as well go I form. Um, go with that stretch. It's really overpowered. Uh, so yeah, on the way back, I was saying, I was sitting next to my friend uh, who was friends with her. He had her phone number. So I was listening to Spacebound by Eminem, and I was thinking of her. Um, and I was like, okay, you know what? I need to do this before somebody else gets to her. Uh, come on, Zach Miller. And... Uh, so I got all the emotions and stuff, and uh, so I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I asked my friend for her phone number, and he was like, okay, sure. Uh, so he gave it to me, and then the very next day, I texted her, and um, I was like, hey, it's me. Uh, how are you? Um, the Museum of Tolerance was very fun yesterday. And she was like, yeah, it was. I'm good. How are you? It's nice to hear from you. Something like that. I don't remember. It was seven years ago. Six, seven years ago. Um, and so we talked for a little bit. I was trying to show off because I had my own pool table. So I'm like, uh, uh, sorry if I'm like not replying fast enough. I'm playing pool. And then with that, I was going to be like, hey, maybe you should come over and play pool with me sometime. Uh, but then she didn't reply after that. And then that, that night, I got a text message saying, come over, Dennis. It'd be fun like usual at like 3 a.m. in the morning. It woke me up because it was on my like little plastic table I had. And it was on vibrate. This is one of like the old flip phones. So they vibrate like crazy. Um, so I was like analyzing the message. I'm like, oh, no, for real? Did she really just do that? Come on. She, she does this and she's only in eighth grade. And uh, so like two days go by. I don't talk to her because I'm like, oh, she got to be kidding me. It broke my heart. It really did. And uh, so then I go up to her after two days uh, during recess or whatever. And I, like, I'm like, hey, what was up with that weird text message you sent me at 3 a.m.? She's like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have your number. Um, I'm like, uh, yes, you do. We talked the other day after the Museum of Tolerance, remember? And she was like, uh, no, I don't have your number. I'm like... Oh snap! Did I just embarrass myself in front of my friend, her, and her friend? And uh, so then I go up to my friend who uh, gave me her number, 
And he, he started cracking up laughing. I'm like, I'm really? It was you? It was him the whole time. He was the one texting me, messing with me. And I should have known because he was known for doing this to me. Did you see that spin move by my running back? Uh, so, yeah, I should have known. Uh, but, yeah, so that was awkward. So that was the only time I ever talked to her in eighth grade. Um, I remember vividly crying after eighth grade promotion because I didn't think I was going to see her again. But, I mean, we went to the same high school anyways. Um, so, yeah, now ninth grade comes along. Now I get to, like, the balls to, like, y y you guys are going to think I'm stupid after I say this. But I get, my I get her phone number from the same friend that tricked me the year before. He gave me her real phone number. And, uh, oh, no, 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 it wasn't him. It was someone else. Um, someone else gave me her phone number. And so I texted her that day. And uh, we talked for like five minutes. And then she said something like, if you want to stay friends or if you want to like become friends, just keep talking. Something like that. And I was like, uh, okay, so what did you do today? You know, stuff like that. And then she never replied after that. So I was like bored. So being the freshman little completely antisocial guy that I was, um, I got on my friend's phone and I texted her. And this is the same play I ran last time and it didn't work. What am I doing? Um, and I texted her saying something weird. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't creepy like, I'm going to be at your house tonight. It wasn't something like that. It was something like, hey, you should date this guy. And I think I referenced me. Okay, that is kind of creepy, but I don't I don't remember what it was. Um, anyway, she texted. That was at school. She texted me like two hours later saying, hey, delete my number. You're... Like a piece of crap or something like, uh, I'm like, oh, dang it. So then I messaged her back pretending like I didn't care and everything. I was like, I don't give a, you this know, boop. Uh, I already did earlier today. And I actually, I actually already did delete her number. Because I knew after I did that, I'm like, oh, I'm so stupid. What have I done? Um, and it turns out the friend's phone that I texted her off of, he told her that, you know, it was basically me. So, yeah, she got pissed off at me. And uh, so, yeah, that's the story. I never talked to her again, and I'm glad I didn't because it turns out she had like a of high school. Come on, man. You got to – what are you doing? 15 points. Wow, that is a new low. Um, so, yeah, she had a something like that. I don't know. Um, I think. I just hope she never finds this video. I doubt she ever will. Um, so, yeah, I never talked to her again. Uh, never seen, I never saw her again. Um, yeah, I don't even know what she looks like anymore. But yeah, that was my first time ever flirting with a girl. So it sucked, broke my heart, but whatever. It was, I laugh at it. <laughs> I laugh at it now. Um, so yeah, this has been your boy Video Gamester. Perfect timing, by the way. I die, or, I mean, I lose lives, all my lives by the time I finish the story. Uh, and I will do... I'm going to record the next one right now, but I'm going to upload it next Sunday. Or maybe I'll just do this every few days. Just call it story time or something. But yeah, I am out, and I will see you guys tomorrow.